John Gill's exposition of the Bible text, Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. Leviticus 10, 3 Commentary And Moses said unto Aaron, Upon this awful occasion, and in order to quiet and humble him under the mighty hand of God, this, is it, that the Lord spoke, saying, But when he spoke it, and where it is said and recorded, is not so very clear, it might have been said, and yet not recorded, or the substance of it may be recorded, though not in the express words here delivered, it may refer, as some think, to, Exodus 19, 22, or else to, Exodus 29, 43, which seems to come nearest to what follows, so Jarki, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, in the priests that drew nigh to him, and offered sacrifice and burnt incense to him, by these he expected to be sanctified, not to be made holy, but to be declared to be so, and obeyed and worshipped as such, as he is, when his commands and ordinances are observed, as he would have them be, in faith and fear, which were not done by these sons of Aaron, and therefore the Lord, by the punishment he inflicted, showed himself to be an holy, righteous, and jealous God, and before all the people I will be glorified, as he is when he is believed and trusted in, when his worship is carried on in his own house, according to his will, when his ordinances are kept as they were delivered, and when he is reverenced in the assembly of his saints, all which were wanting in this case, and this may also have respect to the glory of divine justice in the public punishment of the sin of those men, that since he was not glorified by them before the people in the way of their duty, he would glorify himself in their punishment, and Aaron held his peace, was in a stupor, as the Septuagint, quite amazed, thunderstruck, as we say, he was silent, said not one word against what was done, murmured not at the providence, nor complained of any severity, but it was patient under the hand of God, and resigned to his will and since God was sanctified and glorified, he was contented.